All right. Um, today is probably going to be the last day for uh, any videos for uh, these loading slugs into uh, brass magtech cases. Um, it's about as far as I could go with it. I'll explain a couple things. Um, about powder burn and things like that and how I achieved it. Um, so let's just uh, get started with this. Um, I have found that I got these gas seals from Ballistic Products and um, I installed them in the Magtech case. Um, I only put them in new cases, not ones that I've already fired. Um, here's the washer seal right here. This is what it looks like. Now, inside the Magtech case, as you can see, see how the primer pocket is above this little, uh, area down around the bottom here. So your powder wants to lay in there. I found out that a lot of the powder wasn't burning. So um, I got these gas seals. And when they're installed in the case, which I'm gonna show you how to install them, they look basically like that. It actually fills in that area on the bottom. Um, this is a case that I'd already fired. I cut it in half because I was trying to get that out of there and I couldn't get it out of there without cutting this case in half. But as you can see, the primer pocket's a little bit bigger than the washer seal. So how I got around that, um, I, uh, you should have one of these Look familiar trimmer, case trimmer. Just take the case trimmer and I, uh, run it in there to uh, chamfer that a little bit more on the bottom. So I just eyeball it. These things are a little pliable. All right, then I basically uh, make sure the chamfer is face down. This is a brand new case. You can see inside, it's all clean down in there. Drop it in there. Just take a wooden dowel, mallet, and seat it in there. Um, that's basically it. You can tell when it's seated in there from the sound. It sounds a little spongy. There you can tell. It's solid. Um, like I said before, I handle these cases on the top quarter inch. Um, before I install this little plastic piece in there, um, I actually took one of these, re-handled it, and uh, the little plastic piece, I hit it on the table, and the little plastic piece come out. So once you've got that in there, um, you are not shouldn't re-handle the cases. Um, I've never had to. Um, these ones here, this is the Foster, Lyman Foster Slug. This is my third loading on these this case here. Um, That's about it on the washer seal. Now I did find out that faster burn powders um, seem to work better in these cases. Um, Red Dot, um, American Select, uh, that's the label, that's a vintage of that I use. And my Red Dot is actually pretty old. I hate to even show you this can, but this is my Red Dot. Some people say that the uh, newer Red Dot uh, is uh, different. Um, I have no idea, but this is the Red Dot I've been using for uh, my loads. So, 
potters like Herco, uh, they, as you've seen in the video, they don't work very well. And um, these are actually loaded with Unique. These ones here, this is the ounce and an eighth lineman slug. Um, I'm gonna give them a go today. See how they function, I loaded eight of them up and see what goes on with that. Now your fired cases, you get them home and they're crimped over and you can't get the uh, wad inside, inside there. Um, all I did to solve that was um, I actually found this lug nut in my uh, garage from one of my cars. Put some tape around it. Just take it in there, take my hammer, tap it a few times, opens the uh, mouth back up so I could start the reloading process all over again. And that's about it. Um, a word on primers. I used, um, I tried all different primers. Uh, I basically used Winchester primers, but I did try some Magnum large pistol primers. What they seem to do is they actually will dislodge upon firing and it seems to dislodge everything and um, they actually don't work as well as a standard large pistol primer. They seem to blow everything out and your powder and um, you have a lot of unburnt powder and things like that that don't, uh, you don't want. So the standard large pistol primers seem to work the best. Like I said, I use Winchester primers. Um, I guess you could use other primers, I don't know. Um, I will say that the Winchester primers say on the box for standard and magnum loads. Um, when I make magnum loads, I use magnum primers. I've never used the Winchester primers as a magnum primer. Um, so I don't know about that, but it does say that on the box. So that's about all I know. Now you know, and like I said, this is probably the last video um, on these, uh, taking it as far as I guess it could go, and now you're on your own. Uh, happy loading, and thanks for watching the video.